Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and I've got a box. And in this box is a 3D printer. What kind of 3D printer? I don't know. I don't know what kind of 3D printer is in here. I know there's a 3D printer in here. I've got my sword. Ah, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to use my knife. Hey, let's find out. Let's unbox this printer. You ready? Go. Ah, there you are. Welcome back. Uh, this is a wooden sword, and it's not sharp enough to open this box. So, sword away. I've got my handy-dandy pocket knife, and we can, we can open this. Uh, ooh, let's measure it. I've got my tape measure. It's going to measure 19 and a half inches across. It's going to be 19 and a half inches deep. Any guesses as to how tall? That's right, not 19 and a half. It's 21 inches tall. So we've got an almost box with us, or almost square, cube. Ooh, here we go. Let's cut in. Oh, there's a Team Lift sticker here, but it's in Chinese. I don't know Chinese. More box. Okay, more box. We can deal with this. Ready, ready? Ha <laughs> ha! I know what kind of printer this is, and you don't. I'm looking at it right here. I can see it. Oh, awesome. Uh, should I bring it out, or should I tell you? My wife's over there. Hey, hon, should I bring it out, or should I tell him what it is? Spell it. I'm not going to spell it. All right, here we go. It is the Flash Forge Finder. Flash Forge Finder. This is the Finder. This is kind of cool. I haven't actually used this printer before, and I haven't. Uh, I haven't. I don't know anyone that owns one, so this will be this will be quite quite interesting. Here, let's let's get this out of the box. How do I take it out of the box? Turn it upside down. Okay. I think this is how you do it. The box is empty. Watch out, doggy. Now it's upside down, of course. Let me. Uh, okay. That was easy. The Finder Quick Start Guide. Ooh, caution. Hyperthermal, I guess. The user guide is in the USB stick, which is good. I guess it comes with one of those. Support. Contact Mr. Tang. I love that guy. Hey, actually. The very, very first printer I owned was a Flash Forge Creator Pro. I bought it off Amazon, and it was a little more than a year ago, and it was Mr. Tang that I bought it from. And this printer is from Mr. Tang. Thank you, Mr. Tang. I'll set this aside. Ooh. Ooh, it's, it's red. I have a red printer. I have a red printer. Oh, here. The front is right there. Ah, look at this. Comes with its own little tool bag. Got a screwdriver, a couple Allen wrenches, and there's the USB stick. Ooh, a cruiser blade four gig. That's a four gig stick. Not too shabby. All right. Styrofoam goes over there. It looks like, looks like this was packed really well. This piece of styrofoam was broken off, but I'd rather have styrofoam broken than the printer being broken. Oh, I see a roll of PLA filament. I don't know what color it is yet. I think I can just, yep, slide it out the side. It is, it is blue. Ooh, it's almost tart as blue. That's exciting. 
This is probably a, a guide tube. Oh, and a USB cable, good. Here's the power cable. All right, this is, this piece of styrofoam is stuck in here because I need to raise the build plate. Look at my impressive stack of styrofoam. I've opened up the documentation and I'm, I'm taking a look. So the user guides on the USB stick, that's great, but I think this is the quick start guide and this will tell me what to do. I've already unpacked the printer for the most part. Let me see if I'm missing any steps. Hey, yeah, look at that, I did it right. Oh, let's see, I didn't need to, it looks like I didn't need to flip the box over. Whatever. This, let's see, discard the blue tape that holds the flat cable in place. I can do that. I need both hands, apparently, geez. Tape is off. Hmm. Use scissors to cut the four buckles that hold the rods in place. I see that. Let me go get some scissors. Got scissors. These are tough little zip ties right here. There's four of them. One, two. Three. Four. There we go. Zip ties undone. Remove the styrofoam, did that, move the build plate up with care. I did it with care. It's true. I did it with care. Oh, that's it, I've unpacked my printer. I have unpacked my printer. I'm gonna take this off the LCD, because I can. Ooh, hardware assembly. Should I do that? I'm gonna go do that. Okay, I need to take a break. I'm gonna get a Red Bull. Well, I didn't get a Red Bull. I just got some water in my Dynamco cup, because I don't wanna stay up till four o'clock in the morning. Mmm, water's good for you. We're at the part of the instructions that are that are for hardware assembly, it says. What's interesting about this printer, it's got a filament caddy. It's kind of neat, fits right in there. It's got a contact here, it contacts some sort of chip. It might do, oh, it might be a filament counter, maybe? I don't know, we'll find out. Let's see, remove the filament cartridge. I found you. Uh, thread the filament through the filament guide tube. Oh. Okay. Stay. Good thing I brought those scissors up. Oh yeah, look at that. That is, that is TARDIS blue. Look at that, TARDIS blue. We found a... Uh, where is it? Oh, what's up? Yeah. I could do a TARDIS Red Bull koozie now. Someone, someone made a TARDIS Red Bull koozie. They were inspired by my koozies. All right, I need to place it in here and then feed the filament through the tube, it says. Okay. That was actually really easy. And then put it back in. I can do that too. So far so good. Install the filament cartridge into the finder. I just did that. Press the spring presser and insert the filament into the filament intake. Okay, there's a, there's a spring presser. I'm gonna call it a lever. 
Or is it a lever? Is it lever or lever? Depends where you are. All right, depress. Okay, that was easy. And here's what's interesting. I have this, this guide tube and I'm, I'm guessing it's for doing something like that, but the instructions do not say to use that. So I don't, I don't know. Fifth and final step in this section, insert the power cable into the finder. Let's do that. And I will insert it into this surge protected, well covered outlet. Thank you very much. All right, uh, let's see. Looks like it comes with a six foot power cord. They don't skimp on that. That's nice. I've now, I've loaded it. I've done everything up to step five. I, uh, let's keep going. <laughs> okay, here's the interesting part. I just plugged it in. Is this the power button? Okay, that's the power button, cool. Nothing in the manual tells me that's the power button. There's nothing in the manual that tells me to turn this on. Oh, it sings to you too. I mean, some printers you plug in and don't have power buttons. I don't know. But hey, look at that. We've unboxed this printer. We've powered it up. I see a, a menu. I will, I will level the build plate and I will, and I will, I will get that, get that all done. Uh, in a separate video, but for now, look at this. This is the Flash Forge Finder. It's been unboxed. The box was fantastic. Look at it's right here, and on top of it is all of the styrofoam that kept it safe for its travels halfway around the world. The filament was easy to load into the filament spool holder back here. Looks like it's got a filament counter or some sort of uh, feed tube measuring mechanism. It comes out and it goes into, into the top. You press down the, the lever and and load it and then you're you're ready. So the next steps are to level the build plate and do a test print and like I said, I'll do that. I'll do that in the next video. Well, that's it, you guys. Thanks for coming along on this journey. This 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 should be an interesting printer. So far, I'm I'm impressed with the way it was shipped. I'm impressed with the way it was boxed and it looks pretty rigid like I could mount it on top of my car and print while driving down the road. Hmm. Maybe I'll do that. That's it, hey, give me a thumbs up if, uh, if this was worth watching. Share this with your friends if you think they might be interested in a Flash Forge Finder. Subscribe if you're not, because you should. It's the right thing to do. That's it, shoot, that's it, that's it, that's it, okay. Well, hey, as always, high five.